Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, I'll be doing a review of the Pantera by Vulcan Surfboards in the SurfTech Dual Core Fusion technology. Um, so the Pantera here that I've been riding has been in the stock dimensions, which is 60 by 19 by 2.5, which comes in at 30.5 litres. So, um, if you're unfamiliar, Vulcan Surfboards is a label from San Diego in California, which is shaped by a guy called Dane Hunts. I think I said that right, hopefully. Um, and he makes some pretty amazing and unique surfboards. Um, so he does a lot of those kind of hydroplaning hull type things and some boards that you don't actually really want to ride, you just want to put up on your wall because they just look amazing with some of the, the resins, tints and the shapes and kind of into that really like aerodynamic stuff and some of the twin keels he's been doing are just off the charts but um, unfortunately in Australia we don't have much access to his stuff, hopefully that changes soon. This is a model that he worked on which is one of his performance shortboards which he produced with SurfTech so it could be produced more globally and give people access to some of his boards. So I've been riding this board actually for quite a while, I've had it for a few months now um, and I've been riding it in a lot of conditions and uh, for me it's, it's six foot so it's probably at the end of what I consider like a high performance shortboard which I ride in better conditions, um, it's kind of that longer edge but surprisingly it actually goes well in pretty average waves. Um, so one of the cool characteristics of this is that it's done in SurfTech's new dual core fusion technology. So the center of the board here is EPS and the outside here which you can see is PU which is your normal foam and your normal string and a glass blank um, and it's done completely in epoxy resins and through here is a carbon strip and you can see there's carbon that comes through here, um, comes through from the top to the bottom through the tail and there's also a very similar so the strength down the bottom, a carbon strip. Um, so a lot of carbon in the board. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I was saying, the board comes in at 30.5 litres, but under my arm it actually feels quite thin. Uh, I was picking it up, I didn't think it would even be 28 litres, and I was concerned about if it would float and if it would go for me. Um, getting on the board, it floats really well, it goes really well, and it feels a lot bigger um, once in the water than what it does under my arm. Um, another really unique feature about this board, if I flip it over, um, a really unique feature here is a lot of boards have what you call here an effective edge which comes from a sharp edge which is from the tail and normally comes up about a quarter or a third up the board. Um, a lot of different boards say like the Channel Islands, Black Beauty, the Tom Curran board has an effective board, I think an effective edge that goes probably the whole way to the nose. But this kind of, um, it doesn't quite blemish out to a round soft rail and it keeps like, it's almost like there's three or so points in the rail, it's never quite a smooth rounded rail. I wasn't quite sure about how that would work, but it actually seems to flow through the water quite well and it's like it breaks water away and, and is actually quite forgiving. But having the board you know, under my hand and feeling that rail for the first time, I wasn't quite sure about how it would go through the water as it was something I hadn't really ridden before. Uh, like I said, I've been riding the board, I've probably had it for around six months now. I've had it for quite some time and I've ridden it from kind of one to two foot pretty average mush where the board surprisingly has gone really well um, up to kind of six foot plus. I remember it was a few days where I was doing some stuff with the surf tech guys in Australia and it was quite large at a local break um, and it felt like a really good board and sort of handled the size because a lot of these, as I said, this is EPS and PU, so it's the two technologies in one, but a lot of the EPS boards I find um, with this really light epoxy technology, which is a great when the waves are pretty average and small, I feel get a little bit rattly, a little bit skatey when it gets bigger but I'm not sure if it's because of the PU foam through the edge of the board that it keeps that weight and that, that you know, the board sinks and fills into the rail and into the water and it feels more natural. So it didn't have that real skatiness that you feel in a lot of um, those lighter boards that, that are great when it's small, um, but I feel kind of they're out of their depth when it gets a little bit bigger. Well, personally, I don't enjoy them that much, but this felt fine. Recently, we had like a little kind of right rip while we live where you might see some footage. Um, which normally I would have taken out probably like kind of a fun, kind of short, grovelly kind of, um, you know, a bit of a fun board. But I, I thought I'd test this out and see how it went. We're trying to get some footage for the review. And the thing went really well. You'll see on the footage, it, there's not a lot of push in these waves. It's like a little rip bowl in a corner where I live. Um, but the, yeah, it, it seemed at home in those kind of one to two foot, you know, kind of summer, kind of fun waves. Um, and then, you know, goes much better when waves get, you know, steeper. It, it is a performance short board um, and it goes well in a whole variety of waves. Um, on the bottom, I don't have access to a whole lot of FCS fins, so I've only been able to try that AM2, but that's my go-to fin in almost anything. Um, and that felt really nice. It has the hold um, for my weight, 
skill, ability in the board, it was the perfect fin for it, and I felt like I didn't really need to try anything else out. Um, flipping the Pantera over, it just has a single concave that almost goes throughout the whole board from early up in the front through the fins and it gives a slight single to double that comes through the fins and out the back of the board. And that will keep water flowing through the board um, and keep pacing that through flatter sections and give the board a lot, of, a lot of drive and a real lively feel. That's our review today of the Pantera by Volcom Surfboards, which is done by SurfTech in their dual core fusion technology. Um, ultimately, I think the Pantera is probably for your intermediate to advanced surfer, um, but really could be a fun board for anyone. But I think for someone to feel out the shape and the little, you know, the characteristics of the board that, that Dane has put into it to make it his, um, I think as someone who's a, who can surf quite well and enjoys the challenge of surfing would enjoy these things such as the staged rail, um, that ongoing effective edge and the shape overall. But I think really it would almost be a board that anyone could have fun on. Hey, thanks for watching today. If you enjoyed what you saw today, we'd really appreciate it if you could hit like. Uh, if you want to watch more of what we've got, please subscribe. And if you could, if you've got mates or someone you think might be interested as well, if you could share what we're doing, that'd be greatly appreciated. Um, as well as YouTube, we're also doing a lot of stuff through our Instagram page. So check out the Surfboard Guy on Instagram, and it'll give you a chance to in interact with us, talk about boards, and we're also going to do a few other things beyond reviews that you may be interested in. And you'll be the first to find out about it there at the Surfboard Guy. Thanks a lot.